Good evening. Welcome to The Pearl Report. I'm Diana Lin. A 2012 survey showed more than 80% of Hong Kong people are not consuming the two servings of fruit and three of veggies a day that experts say make us less prone to diet-related diseases. Producer Erica Poon looks at what people here are eating, how some are trying to change their diet, and whether what's considered healthy food is really essential to our wellness. Real food is actually the food uh, you grow from uh, soil, like vegetables, food, meat. It, it is from nature. But for processed food, it is from a factory. A lot of salt and then oil, and then uh, there is many, many food additives, and then uh, that will harm their health. Beatrice is the Hong Kong ambassador of Food Revolution, a campaign started by celebrity chef Jamie Oliver. They call uh, the volunteers around the world to start their own education program and then uh, to ask people to eat healthily. At least five million people around the world die every year of diet-related illnesses such as obesity and heart disease. So we want to change this situation. I like to eat a lot of fatty food, just like hamburger. Uh, I like to drink cola. After this talk, I would like to take in more natural food. Golden, stripy, purple, white, pink. It's incredible, okay? That is openly... In 2011, Jamie Oliver exposed pink slime production in the U.S. From the cavity where the guts are, it's full of anything from salmonella, E. coli, and they put it into a centrifuge and they spin it. We're going to wash these lean bits of beef in a water and ammonia solution, and that kills the E. coli and the salmonella and any kind of pathogens. So then we drain it. McDonald's USA announced it has stopped treating its beef with ammonium hydroxide since August 2011. McDonald's Hong Kong says ammonium hydroxide is not used during the production of beef patty nor any other food offered to the customers. We have strict quality food control measures in place. For its snacks and lunches, this school chose a company catering to 300 plus schools. We focus on whether they can provide uh, different sets of meals which are healthy to students. They want the diet to be tasty and nutritious. So it's our job to make it a balance. We also follow the, uh, the Department of Health nutrition guideline. Three parts of grain or starch, two parts of vegetable and one part of meat. A dietitian says many schools and parents want lunch providers to follow healthy guidelines. So that somehow pushes the school lunch provider to follow these um, guidelines to improve the quality of the school lunch. In our plan, we, all the meat are go through what we call a, a, a conveyor belt oven. We don't add extra oil, so where there are rows on the top and the oil will drip down to the bottom tray. We have a steam element into it, so to keep the meat tender, not dry. The company offers the school four lunch choices. A would be a more uh, popular item. It can help us to be fit. It will make my parents happy. A B is more Western style. C being a, a more restricted, healthy diet. For instance, we use a low-fat white sauce, a, a low sugar and low salt. It is healthy and it's balanced because it has meat, uh, vegetables and uh, noodles or rice. I always eat a half of this set and I feel full. And D being the vegetarian. What replaces the meat would be the vegetable or some like tofu. But fewer than 10 students choose set D each month.
Well, today is the food rifleman day. One day a year when Jamie Oliver gathers the world to cook together. She's now I'm, I'm making the rainbow salad wrap and it's totally delicious. <laughs> it's quite easy. I will try my food. It's uh, easy and fun and for raw food, you can keep all the nutrition here. Different types of cooking um, result different types of nutrient loss. Vitamin C and folate are the two that have bigger losses. Folate is a vitamin B. It involves in um, some energy metabolism. It also helps to make um, rapid cells. Vitamin C, it helps to improve immunity to fight you know, infection. Baking greens depletes 25% of folate and 30% of vitamin C, while boiling takes away up to 35% of folate and 45% of vitamin C. Some nutrients are actually better absorbed in cooked food, for instance, lycopene in the tomato. People who are on raw diet, they tend to eat more fruit and veggies, which contains, you know, um, they're rich in antioxidants and fiber, which is, you know, you know, good side of it. There's a give and take. 42-year-old Moises Mel, or Moy, is a raw vegan. But there is no animal products of any kind. And raw are nuts, seeds, fruit, vegetables, sea vegetables, in their natural state, without being processed or heated in more than 110 Fahrenheit. That's about 43 degrees Celsius. Moy makes raw veggie snacks sold at a fitness chain. We're making some kale chips made of nuts and seeds, nutritional yeast, sun-dried tomatoes, olives. The chips are dehydrated under 43 degrees Celsius. It will take between uh, 24 to 48 hours. Dehydration is um, considered as another type of cooking. For dehydrated fruit, USDA data show 80% vitamin C loss and 50% for folate. When we eat, we are not only talking about nutrients. We're talking about pleasure by drying up the kale to make it like chips. I mean, it's quite an interesting snack. I was born in Mexico, raised there. I was starting to feel a little inspired about food from my grandma. She was a vegetarian cooker when I was in college, when I got involved into bodybuilding. So it was a stage that I was starting to count my calories, weight my food, and try to think how to build muscle. He studied marketing in university and started an IT company after graduating in 1995. I had a client that had a yoga studio, and I loved what they were doing, so I started shifting from the bodybuilding to the yoga as I got more influence to a vegetarian lifestyle. In 2006, he quit IT, trained in India for eight months to teach yoga, and came to Hong Kong in 2007 as a yoga instructor. My body was convinced to be vegetarian. In the morning, I'll have a warm water with lemon. It's alkalized for me. If you like to have some, you know, sense of lemon zest, but it's nothing helps to change the pH of our body. In different parts of the body, we have our own mechanism to regulate the pH, to, you know, make it a suitable environment for certain organs to work on it. For lunch, Moi will have a salad and maybe a smoothie with greens and fruits. I'll make a quick smoothie using coconut water, or just uh, plain water. They might be some coconut water brands that have added sugar. You want to take coconut water? Check that is uh, raw and pasteurized. It's just a juice, contains some sorts of minerals and vitamins. It's nice to be to have it as a beverage, but don't think that it's something magical. Then at night, I could have some soups just by blending Roma tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, celery. We have some cucumber, some mango, Very good. lime juice, and it makes a very nice gazpacho. Tomato. 
Moy says his diet adds up to about 2,000 calories a day, and while always vegan, it's not 100% raw. You do 80%, you're pretty much good. Being vegan, it's, it's a tough already, so I, I, I give some allowance to myself. No, no evidence saying that raw vegan must be healthier than normal diet. Moy takes vitamin B12 supplements. Iron and calcium can be at risk of um, deficiency as well. Which path you take, you really need to study it. You really need to be conscious of what you're doing. Cooking at home and knowing what goes in your body will always be healthier. How one startup is encouraging home cooking, even for beginners. Chinese food now follows a healthy trend. We'll choose more seasonal, fresher or cleaner food. And how two young chefs put healthy into their cooking. That and more when we return.